Hello, dear students. Now we are going to start experiment based on single phase half wave control rectifier, both for the resistive load as well as inductive load using MATLAB. See the circuit on which we are going to test. So there are, as it, it is a rectifier, so there is a requirement of uh, device which can convert from AC to DC. It means that is done by this thyristor. Then uh, there is a AC source. Then there is a requirement of load. So here it is mentioned resistive load only, but uh, as per need, we can you test both for the resistive load as well as inductive load. So simply this thyristor will be have like on switch. If the gate pulse is given to it during forward blocking state, and it will be have like off switch if gate pulse is not given to it during forward blocking state. Okay, so see this waveform shows the sinusoidal AC voltage that is coming from the input side that is the VS and at after some delay angle that is known as a firing angle alpha. Now gate pulse is given to this thyristor because we know that thyristor is a controlled device. Okay, uh, basically it is a semi-controlled device and uh, if the gate pulse is given to it, then it will be have like on switch. It means it will switch from forward blocking mode to forward conduction mode and then uh, there is a complete connection from input to output and uh, it means what, what will be the output if we consider this thyristor as an ideal switch. So in that case, whatever supply voltage is coming, that is this one. So the same supply voltage will appear as an output, okay? Now at omega t is equal to pi, there is a natural commutation. At omega t is equal to pi, there is a natural commutation of this thyristor. It means it is going to turn off because after omega t is equal to pi plus, there is a negative supply that is coming from the input. And now at this point, the cycle is going to complete. And if we talk about for the current response, so simply there is a resistive load in this case. So what will be the current? It, it, it is nothing but simply voltage upon resistor. Okay. Now this gate pulse, it is given at the gate terminal of this thyristor. Now let us start with the MATLAB. Now open your MATLAB. Now open your MATLAB. If you just open your MATLAB, so by default, you will see three window. These are the current folder, command window, and workspace. And in taskbar, what you have to do, just go to this icon that is the mention here it is, as it is new. And after this point, after clicking on this point, what you have to do that simply go to, after if you press this new, so you there the different icons will appear here you have to go on symlink model okay and click on this after clicking on this uh, this blank file will appear by a name mentioned here like untitled means till now there is no name is given to it so that is why it is named named as untitled no title is there okay and uh, by using this file go to save as and uh, just save it with some any any name so after after that after saving it after saving it so whatever name is given uh, by you uh, so with th with that name and uh, here it will appear remember one thing whenever you are going to save it just use a dot mdl as extension because we are going to create a model okay now the main important part from where different component we will get that is this one which is known as a symlink library if you press this part so you uh, see this icon will appear so in this case you have to initially go to semiscape after semiscape go to power system after power system you have to uh, select see th there are various options in which you can go if you required source you can select here from the source if there is a different element like uh, resistive element inductive element from there you, uh, you can select then different measure measurement uh, element like voltage measurement current measurement you can select from here 
and then power electronic devices which I selected in this case. So as I required a transistor, so that is why I selected here a th thyristor. Okay. So see the symlink model uh, means which I designed. So there is a source that is the AC source, sinusoidal source. Now there is a thyristor which is connected between the load and a source. Okay. Now gate pulse is given via the pulse generated to this thyristor and uh, to measure the voltage across the source as well as load. So there are voltage measurement at the source side, voltage measurement at the load side. Okay, now to sense the current in this load branch, so there is a current measurement, means it is behaving like a meter. Okay, now to visualize this output, so there is a need of scopes. At this point, you can see whatever response at any instant that is coming. Okay, so there is a scope and that for the ammeter there is a scope for the voltage source at the input side there is a scope for the voltage source at the output side as per your requirement you can you can even merge these scope in a single window okay now see the response uh, first is for the source voltage second for the load voltage and third for, for the load current okay this this is the case when there is a resistive load now if we use inductive load means rl load in that case we know that if there is rl load so obviously uh, from omega t is equal to alpha to pi this is the point that is the alpha firing angle this is the point that is the pi so from alpha to pi inductor is going to store electromagnetic energy and when at this point the voltage is trying to zero see at this point voltage input voltage is trying to zero so inductor will suddenly develop opposite voltage and it will discharge its energy it, it means it will force thyristor to conduct into same direction until it will discharge so during this so if there is an inductive load so you will get negative voltage but current remains in the same direction okay so if we talk about further response in case of MATLAB, so see the model which I simulated here, just what you do, just run it, run it here. Just run it, you will get response. See the output response that I shown to you for the resistive load and if you want to change the further indu uh, inductive load simply what you do just double click on this uh, resistive element and select here as a RL element so it, now there is a, resist a resistance that is 10, 10 ohm and inductance that is 10 milli henry okay apply then okay now it is converted into RL load now run it again So, so now see the waveform for the inductive load. So now there is a generation of negative peak. Okay, I hope you, you understood the concept. Thanks to everyone.